Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm showing you guys my master all-wheel drive drift tune for this Lamborghini Countach. Here is the share code. Got it? Great. Yeah, it kind of just reminded me to make this video because uh, Haley Robertson said, Hey, it's amazing. It's really smooth and showed me the share code and well, here we go. We already, it's already fixed. We already got it. So huge shout out to Haley and uh, uh, to get me back into the boot to make you guys this video, show you guys this uh, build, this tune, take, take this beautiful car outside and show you what this car can do. So let's get into it and show you guys everything I've done to this thing. It's an S1899. Yes. So we've got the stock engine gives you 1204 horsepower 790 foot pounds of torque and weights under 4,000 pounds it's got the stock drivetrain all-wheel drive the way to go we got those twin turbos in the back doing turbo -y things all right nothing in the front here well there's stuff on the car but nothing added all right you could add well, let's see what we can add oh, look at that pretty all right and, and nothing in the back all right ew either way stock it just she looks beautiful stock lever stock okay we got that snow tire compound for that ultimate slide and just how i think about like it's an ultimate slide is because it has these metal spikes in the tire studs as you would call them and you got to think, you know, metal on a road, you would slide. That's my theory. I did max out the uh, the width in the front on here and left it stock in the rear. So they just counterbalance each other. All right, we are using my favorite rims. They are the TC105Ns. Can I get close? Yes, I can. I just got to get over here. You got to press the buttons just right to get really close to it. And I'm using my left thumbstick to get close to the rim. You can nice see the nice rim and see all of its glory. And you can see everything else on the car that you want to see. Pretty. Look at that. You can look there. Anyways, moving on. I did max out the track width in the front, and I maxed out the track width in the rear. Yeah, they look they look good. And then we got a four-speed transmission just to save as much weight. And a lot of you guys always wanted me to use a four-speed. Well, here you go. Here's your four-speed. You happy? Good. All right. Other other options are like here's the ten-speed here, but. Of course, you definitely get better specs with the four speed. Makes sense. You're losing a lot of weight. Where's the race? All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's 38. Yeah, you can just see the weight difference on everything else here. Yeah, either way. Moving on. We have a race drive line. It's carbon fiber. We can't see it, but it's there, I think. And then we have a drift differential, also that you can't see. But it's there. Got the drift springs and dampers. Really just drop this thing down low. All right, let's see how high we can get this. Oh, it really doesn't really bounce up too high. You got anti-roll bars in the front. Anti-roll anti bars in the rear. Can I spike? We do have a roll cage. The only reason I put the roll cage on there was just to bring up the PI number. That's all. And then uh, a sport weight reduction. As you can tell, if I went with the race, race weight reduction, we would have gone up to an S2 913. I wanted this car to be usable in case you wanted to take it into the open drift lobbies. And of course, everything here is race all the way through. It's got that anti-lag. Uh, the, the flames just aren't there today. Sometimes they are in the video, sometimes they aren't. It is what it is. Race intercooler, and then a race flywheel. So everything's pretty much on here to get it up to an S1899. So that's what we did. 
And there's the build. Isn't that amazing? Now look at the current mastery. I did something. I clicked every one of them for the first time in a long time. So this thing's got everything. Everything's on it. Why not? I said, you know what? I have 9.99 points. I'm just going to do all of them and see what happens. Got some wheel spins, some XP, some credits, Forza Thon points, all exciting stuff. All right? And then here's the tune. So the maximize that slide, we did 55 and 55. Here is my tires. As you can tell, it doesn't go all the way up to 270 miles an hour. It doesn't have to. It's perfect just where it's at. And Haley would agree with me. All right. Now we've got the alignment here. And this alignment I love using for uh, mid-engine, rear-engine cars, especially Lamborghini. Lamborghinis are some of the tougher cars to drift to because they are basically a piece of paper on the road. They, they're, hard to, they're hard to slide. All right. Um, it's just been that way through every single Forza I've been through. It's always been Lamborghini has been a challenge to drift to. So this tune right here is the key. All right, anti roll bars are just there for show. Slap some stickers on there, um, and 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 show it off. Okay, uh, springs. I decided to make this thing really just handle like a a rock solid go kart, basically, and just maximize the uh, you know the springs. Um, the ride height. I actually lifted the ride height from the low to the high. I saw a smoother difference between being completely low and then going up to completely high. It's been perfect. Um, it, it seems like it drifts smoother by going with the high suspension. And, by, and, and the car doesn't look that bad outside either. As you can see the car, we went through the build. The car looks just fine with the ride height high, and it looks great. And it drifts great. All right, dampening is 20, 1, and 20, and 20. I haven't touched this in a long time now. Uh, it's been a year or two, and it's been working wonders. No downforce to worry about. None of that ugly spoiler in the back of the car. Ugh. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to have nightmares tonight about that, that spoiler wing. Ugliest thing ever. Moving on. Brakes, I just thought I'd just leave you 50 and 100. I figured that'd be perfect. And then differential, I went 76, 86, 97, 97. I did try this thing on all kinds of different spectrums, and I still came back to 86%, and that seems to work perfectly for the car. Well, there's the tune. There's the build. Let's take her outside. So, it's nighttime. But this car still looks beautiful as is. And it drifts and it's done, right? <laughs> like, oh, it goes sideways. And we're done with the video, right? Right. Ah. Oh. And it sounds so good. I love the sound of this engine, it is great. Ah, you thought I was going to go there. Oh, that's up to you guys. I always go to that drift section. Great second gear pull there. Gets me sideways with ease. Oh, yeah, she slides. And I already took her down the mountain. You know, she does work down the mountain. The car has to drift down. She does fine. And that's where I tuned her. I tuned her around here first, then I finished the tune up there. Let's be honest. Second gear, not first, let's do it. Oh yeah, plenty of power, phenomenal. And like I said, we got four gears here. It's plenty. You know, you don't go all the way up the uh, 
you know, the 270 mile an hour. See, this is great. Right there at the red line. Yeah. What else do you want? Great off-road. I mean, look at this. It's absolutely amazing off-road. I mean, this is, you know, this is what it's made for. You know? Yeah. I got a rally Lamborghini in that garage right there. You want to see it? Ah. Oh, it's going to blow your mind. Either way. Yeah, third gear is fine. Yeah, it works. But yeah, finally. Finally making a video after nine days. I've been sick for the, the, the full nine days. I have been. Ah, see that game that just popped up there on top? Yeah, the graphics on that game look sick. And I played the first one. And I can't wait to play the second one. So, there's that. Either way. Um... So I'm downloading that game. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Um, the, the first game blew my mind with the graphics and can't wait to play the second one. So it is what it is. But that's a different game. Either way, yeah. Well, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this awesome car. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it, it's the Countach. I, it's the most beautiful Lamborghini. There is. Well, to me. There, there might, like, there's the Aventador, you know, the Gallardo, uh, you know. The Lamborghini makes some beautiful cars. All right? Not going to lie. All right? Everybody in, like, the early days, we had posters of Lamborghinis in our bedroom. Like, it was the dream car, you know. Um, and I've even driven a uh, Lamborghini in real life. So, um I, I, I uh, drove the uh, Lamborghini um, Gallardo uh, 570, um, and it was it was awesome. Convertible, uh, yeah, it, it was sick. I did it on the racetrack. Um, I did it through uh, Extreme Experience is uh, what I did. So, uh, yeah, and it was a blast. I absolutely loved uh, driving. It was super fun. Either way. Well, hey, guys. And girls, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.